I said for so long that I built a home. They tap at the windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and I'd swear from inside I could feel it. Now here you are with your mallet and light out of your own house. You think it's all right? Don't touch my windows, my bricks or my rules. I won't hear it. Open the door. How do I know? Stillness means end, or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called. Damn, I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. for it. Go! Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. 
She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Places like this have been declared useless. I like finding the worth in them. I'm highlighting it. Doesn't useless mean worthless? I don't think so. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. The job I was born for. <laughs> so what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Those guys really get around. Check this out. I'd like to meet the artist. Especially if this is a self-portrait. Hurry up. Looks almost like a face. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. Well, I buy it, but I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> God, I haven't been born. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Weird kid. Fun party, though. There was an ice cream cake. I guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust.
figured out what your focus is going to be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. That would suck. Something doesn't have to be useful to be worth preserving. They must have preserving. thought something was worth preserving back when they closed this place down. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? It's not like anybody is gonna miss it. Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphan children? <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. I could never resist a deal. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. No thanks, I value my ankles. Behold, everyone's least Looks favorite. like someone has used this to get around those stairs. One day, I hope to have this many shoes. For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely worn. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! 
this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. It was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely worn. My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Oh. Oh, dog, no. Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. Okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still. Um, any other old options? Die hard. Other? Yes. Better? The gnome smoking weed really pull the place together. I'll keep looking. I'm guessing that's the right room. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Yes, this is the angle I need. service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap. Uh, 
Uh, you sure this thing's safe? Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Ooh. Beautiful dismount. Well. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she's flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? I mean, we were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then, we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. For now. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda, thoughts? Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lake port. Amanda's a tall catch. Half of lake port doesn't have what you have. A Safi. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. 
But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Ah, undergrads. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. is enough. Huh. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Who just does this? Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. What else could you ask for? If Amanda's note is anything to go by, this canvas placement isn't part of the artist's vision. signs of a 10 coffee all-nighter. This place has Amanda written all over it. Turn this frown right side up. All 
I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. How does she make bartending look so easy? I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Are you talking to me? Talk to her. Okay, okay. Sophie said Amanda picked out most of the decor. I could always start there. <laughs> 